Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this small video on blowholes caused with remedies. We are going to see today defect blowhole in green sand molding. First of all, we will understand what is blowhole. Blowhole is individual or groups of cavities with small walls. These are defects because of gas interrupted while solidification of metal on surface of the casting which result in rounded or oval blowhole as a cavity. Frequently, it is associated with slag or oxides. The defects are not nearly always located in cope part of the mold, in poorly vented pockets and undercuts. The formation of blowhole is more intense with gray iron casting than tactile iron or a giant casting. These are the, some of the photographs for this blowhole defect you can see low hole defect is uh, shown with the rounded circle this is another low hole defect to my left uh, blow hole is because of uh, low metal temperature you can see the vents are not fully open up you can see those vents and on my right blow hole due to high moisture, you can see rough surface finish is there. The moisture is high because of that surface is uh, not smooth. It is a uh, rough surface and it clearly indicates that the moisture levels are high in the sand. So it, this blow hole is mainly because of high moisture in the sand. These are the Blowholes opened up after machining. As I told you earlier, these blowholes are uh, mostly on your cope surface of the casting. Let's just top up. Now we go to the causes and remedy. Uh, we can start with scrap and melting section. In the scrap and melting section, blowhole is mainly because of uh, high manganese and sulfur in gray cast iron. So you have to maintain manganese to sulfur ratio in the proper proportion high manganese and sulfur will uh, give you rounded shape blow holes in the casting wet scrap scrap used to be uh, properly dried that is, it should not be wet scrap it should not be oily scrap it should not be rusty scrap it should be dried scrap so that uh, during the melting the oxidation will not happen in the metal and uh, gas generation will be less and it will avoid uh, generation of gases and hence the blow holes will be avoided so oxidized metal is another reason so do not hold metal at all uh, before tapping you have you should melt uh, the metal and then immediately pour it so that there will not be any holding of the metal or oxidation of the metal oxidation or holding of the metal will give rise to generation of gases which causes blow hole defect then we go to pouring practice in pouring the blow hole reason for blow hole is a cold metal that is less temperature low pouring temperature is the major reason because of that the gas cannot be escaped from the mold itself it will remain inside the mold as a cavity and after machining you can see those cavities are open moist or damp damp ladle so ladle condition must be uh, good red hot ladle should be there there should not be any moisture inside the ladle for especially when you prepare a new ladle or you start using new ladle you have to uh, preheat ladle properly there should not be any moisture remaining in the ladle so you have to uh, rinse the ladle with metal at least one or two times so that all the moisture from the ladle walls will be you operated or it, it, it should be uh, properly removed so that uh, there should not be any generation of gases which can cause you blow hole. so pouring time too less so slow metal filling is another reason because of that uh, it is very difficult to get gases out so it is another reason uh, fast pouring of metal is another reason because of fast pouring uh, the chances for uh, gases to get outside mold 
are uh, very less so fast filling of matter is another reason so you have to maintain your pouring time properly uh, to slow pouring or to fast pouring both are dangerous and are uh, giving blow holes so you have to keep your pouring time uh, adequate pouring head is another reason you have to keep minimum 3 to 4 inch pouring head above the uh, highest point of your casting in cope box so you have to maintain that 3 to 4 inch of pressure head or pouring head so that uh, the proper pressure will be maintained and because of that pressure the gases can evaporate from the mold so it is another reason for blow hole interrupted pouring due to interrupted pouring what happens uh, the gases are not properly uh, this uh, properly removed from your mold and uh, it may cause the uh, interrupted pouring may cause the uh, uh, turbulence in the molds and uh, because of that blow hole can ha happen so you have to avoid interrupted pouring so these are the major, major reasons uh, in pouring practices uh, next thing we go to molding process it is the most important process to avoid blow hole rusty or oily chills densener or chaplet so whenever you are using any chills or densener or chaplet try to uh, make sure that all the chills chaplet or densener are not rusty oily or wet it should be properly dried and uh, do not have any rust oil or uh, moisture in uh, on the chill or denser or chaplet then holding of molds uh, because of mold holding what happens uh, it can uh, get your uh, water moisture can get you operate inside the mold and it can cause you blow holes so do not uh, hold the metal uh, hold the molds uh, maximum time you can hold the molds are 1.5 hours that is one point before 1.5 hours you have to pour all the molds Pour venting in the mold or core because there will be some gases or some air inside the mold. When you pour the metal, it is important that all the air or gases should be operated from the mold. And for escaping those gases or air, you have to give them a proper path, a proper way, and it should be provided through venting. So, venting should be adequate. Uh, when size and uh, location of the vent are to be adequate and if it is not adequate then there are chances of blow hole in the casting hard ram mold it uh, because of hard ram mold the chances of uh, air or gases we are putting from the mold that is the permeable permeable way is getting less so hard ram mold is another reason for blow hole uh, box height uh shallow or small in co box uh, we are already talk about the pressure here the it should be around three to four inch above your uh, highest point of the casting in the co box so it is very important any combination of hot and cold material that is if you have a uh, normal mold and hot core or you have a hot sand and normal uh, core mud core put inside it it will uh, form uh, moisture evaporation will be there and it will from more gases will be there there will be moisture then when metal touches the moisture it will form again gases or and that is why the blow hole can be uh, possible in those cases so try to avoid hot core or hot sand using in the mold both any combination or both will be dangerous for uh, blow hole rejection uh, next one is excess core gum use when uh, you are using any co core gum for uh, core assembly or for the uh, mold to mold touch or in the molding also you 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 may use core gum mainly for no back core or co2 core uh, try to avoid this uh, metal spillage outside the box uh, i'll try to avoid this excess use of core gum it may give more gases and that gases can be Convert into blow hole in the casting. So try to avoid excess core gum use. Uh, now we go to core. Core is another important factor to avoid uh, blow hole. Core gas is more uh, because of high percentage of resin and binders used mainly in uh, shell core where the the gas content is very high. Cold box and no bag also having 
uh, gas content uh, comparatively higher. So try to avoid those uh, high percent resin or binder use course. Try to avoid using of high percentage of resin and binders. Whenever you are using any core, try to make sure that you are giving proper way or proper path in the core prints to escape those gases which are been uh, developed or produced during the uh, melting so next point is poor venting in the mold or core that is what i'm saying that is we have to provide proper venting in the mold and core as well to give them proper path to escape those uh, gases under baked of course especially in shell core you have to bake it properly under baked core will give you more gases because resin will not be uh, cured properly then it will give you more gases and uh, you don't have enough uh, provided enough space for these gases to escape so this ex excess gases will go cause you blow holes so under back of course are another one of the reasons so whenever you are using shell core make sure that the cores are uh, biscuit color cores avoid metal going in the prints of the core so whenever there is core print and there there are some uh, uh, hollowness in the prints or core prints are open try to avoid metal going because if metal goes inside the prints of the core then it will block the way of uh, gas escape and then the, those gases will remain inside the metal and provide you a cavity which can be opened after machining so avoid metal going inside the print of the core so the combination of hot and hot and cold material that we already talked on this topic early so next one is too hot core put in the mold when you put too hot cores or cores more having the more temperature than atmospheric temperature in the mold it can get moisture from the atmosphere if there, there, there will be some your operation of the uh, some moisture on the course and those moisture on the core will give rise to gases which can give you blow hole uh paint not properly dried up from the core surface uh after the painting you have to dry the core properly uh, either by torching or by passing those cores through the core oven it is not dried properly then uh, it will give you more gases because of paint will give you gases and those gases will not be uh, escaped from the mold because you have given in uh, venting only re required for even normal uh, practices so this additional gases will not be you have, it will not be getting out from your mold and you, it can give you a blow hole so painting uh, drying of paint is very important core oven less cycle time or less baking temperature uh, whenever you are passing the core through the core over make sure that the cycle time is adequate and your baking temperature is also adequate if it is not adequate then the core drying will not be proper and uh, you will get more gases which can cause you blow hole next thing is sand in sand we have high moisture it is the most uh, dangerous uh, parameter uh for the blowhole or it is the most uh, likely chance of getting blowhole is the higher moisture in the sand so uh, maintain moisture below 3.5 percent because moisture will give you highest gases or highest uh, gases in the uh, and those gases are very dangerous because uh, if those gases remain inside the mold they will form a cavity after pouring after uh, metal filling and uh, can be opened up after machining so high moisture is a very dangerous thing you have to maintain your moisture below 3.5 percent in the green sand molding uh, low permeability is another reason because of low permeability gases cannot be uh, escaped through the mold uh, permeable mold so it can give you a low hole uh, chances so try to maintain your permeability between 110 to 170 uh, high dead clay high dead clay will again give you problem because it will absorb more moisture high high dead clay sand will absorb more moisture and because of more moisture again there will be more gases and more gases will give you uh, higher blow holes uh, chances excess or alloy excess alloy or excess vm excess alloy excess vm will also 
do the same thing. So uh, avoid or try to keep your uh, LYVM within the range, specified range. We go to pattern. In pattern, we already talked about pouring head. It should be minimum three to four inch above the highest point in, of the casting. Then sufficiently venting not provided in the gating. So we have to provide proper or enough gating with uh, vent size, vent location properly uh, mentioned on the pattern or on in your control plan so that the person or the operator who is making the venting will uh, get proper idea about what type of venting, where and which uh, size of venting has to be done. The size of vents to be used in is not identified. This is one of the reason uh, if you have to pass 8 mm or 10 mm vent and you pass only 6 mm vent, then there are chances that blowhole will come because the uh, volume of gas that is generated will not escape through the mold because of less uh, venting area. So you have to uh, make sure that the size of vents are, is adequate so that the, all the volume of uh, gases will be passed uh, during the metal filling. Location of vents to be used is not identified. Is again, I told you that location should be properly identified so that person can understand where to put those vents. Uh, this is a small uh, comparison of uh, season-wise uh, compactability. It will he help you to control your sand to avoid blow holes in summer 38 to 44 in winter 38 to 42 and in rainy season it should be 36 to 40 what happens in rainy if you keep the more compactability means more moisture and then there are chances of increasing your blow holes so when rainy season you have to reduce your compactability in summer and win uh, in winter you can increase it little bit uh, based on your ambient temperature. But in rainy season, you have to control this moisture, uh, compatibility to control your moisture. So this is uh, the sand properties, what I was I was talking and then gas uh, evaluation. Uh, in the cold box, it, should, it is around 10 to 12 cc, shell core 15 to 30 cc, based on uh, percentage of resin that you use. No back core, it is around 10 cc, with the normal addition, CO2 it is 6 to 8 cc. And what happens with the moisture in the sand, what we are talking earlier, that is the biggest enemy. One cc of water will give around 17.4 cc of gas with pouring temperature 1350 degrees centigrade. So it is very important to control moisture in the sand. If you control that moisture in the sand, give it adequate venting, give good pressure head, then definitely your blowhole rejection will come down drastically. So take care of these things and thank you very much.